What does the cat have to say? His name is Hakim. This is his story. I'm not the same person anymore in my search for myself. I have discovered a missing part of myself. With it came a gift, and this is how I discovered it. My parents-in-law asked me to feed the cat for a few days while they were away. It was a spoiled female Persian cat that needed special food, and the family loved it. They asked me to put some regular food first and then add some salmon steaks. The house was empty when I entered. The Persian cat appeared from nowhere. I filled the bowl with food and the cup with water and waited for the cat to eat. This cat eats slowly. I sat on the couch waiting and was lost in a train of thoughts. I understood that animals are like us, wanderers in a nightmare called life. Once I was a snoopy human who saw animals beneath him. Now it's different and I barely eat meat because I feel bad about where it came from. I even considered becoming a vegetarian. Looking at the salmon steaks in my hand, I felt disgusted. The smell was off. It didn't go bad, but the animal's food smelled weird. Then I looked at the cat and asked myself, how does it like such food? The cat looked at me and I felt words fill my head that were different, but I could understand them. I can't wait for the salmon steaks. The horror filled my head. Did I hear the cat in my head? The cat stared at me like it understood the words in my head and fled into the house. I fled outside the house. I sat on a bench in the street panting and shaking, then told myself, that's ridiculous. It seems that the silent house played tricks on my mind. I looked at my hand and the salmon sticks were still there. I need to give them to the cat. I had to collect my courage to return and I did. How will I explain to my mother-in-law that I didn't feed the cat because it talked to me? I returned to the house and called for the cat, but it didn't respond. I needed to check if it was okay. I need to see it with my own eyes before I leave. I called the cat and I said I have salmon steaks and a lot of them. I wondered why did I say the last part? Am I trying to play on the cat's greed like a human? Do animals have greed? The cat appeared slowly and looked at my eyes. It made regular cat sounds so I felt relief. But then I stared into its eyes and I felt a slight connection and then words formed in my head, leave them on the floor and leave. I did and I ran fast home. I thought about it all day and didn't share it with anybody. What will they say, that I lost my mind? Don't people talk to animals all the time? My late grandma talked to cats like they were her children, and nobody questioned her sanity, not in her face at least. They dismissed it as a lonely old woman who found a companion in the cats she cared for. I thought about grandma and her compassion for any cat appearing on her doorstep. Children bought newborn cats destined to die without their mother's care, and they knew my grandma would take care of them. I remember those cats walking around her and obeying her requests. She once broke a fight between cats just by saying so. Can one talk to cats or do they understand us? Grandma is gone now. The cats vanished too, I miss her. I thought about that cat. Can cats speak to us, why not? The night came and after it a new day came, promising a new encounter with the cat. I could convince my wife to feed the cat, but what should I say if she asked me why? She has a sense of lies. I didn't want to trigger it. Since I had no good reason to ditch the task, I went. The cat was lying on the floor when I entered the house, staring at me. I didn't make eye contact with the cat. I just put the food in the bowl and waited for it to eat. The cat didn't eat. For every moment I waited, my anxiety increased. I should put the salmon steaks and leave, but that is what my mother-in-law warned me not to do. She won't eat the other food and that's not a good thing. Then I looked at the cat with begging eyes and felt words in my mind. Can you understand me? I was spellbound in the chair. I didn't know what to say or think, but then I calmed myself. Then I looked at the cat and thought in my head while looking at it. Please eat the food so I can leave. If you do, I will leave you the salmon steaks. I felt an amused thought in my head. It wasn't mine. I was anxious. Then the following words followed. I will eat if you give me extra salmon steaks. I thought I was going crazy. I wanted this to end and I had nothing else to do. So I thought, sure. The cat walked slowly to the bowl and started eating. Then new thoughts came to me. Since when can you communicate with animals? I said, or rather I thought just right now. The cat thought, interesting. Is there someone else in your family that talked to cats? I said, maybe my grandmother, I'm not sure. The cat said, have you talked to other animals? I thought, no, I didn't. The cat said, you should find a donkey, but that will be hard. Start with a crow. The last thought was sly. I thought to the cat, why should I talk to them? The cat said, you brought me food. 
Do you think that gave you the privilege to ask me many questions? It was the good of my heart that I shared such information with you. I don't want to talk to humans. It annoys me. You make everything hard and complex. All I want is to enjoy life and you throw yours away. You live in heaven, a safe and warm house, plenty of food. It's a nice place to lay on while you're sleeping. What do you want more in life? The cat then went quiet. It ignored me and left. The cat kept ignoring me even when my curiosity was burning. When my parents-in-law came home, they thanked me very much. My father-in-law went inside to bring something. And then the cat thought loudly, they brought you a jacket. I told my mother-in-law, thank you for the jacket you shouldn't have, that's a lot. My mother-in-law was in shock and speechless. Then I realized I had a slip of the tongue. When my father-in-law joined us with the jacket, she asked, how did I know about the jacket? I was quiet and then lied, saying I had a hunch. They looked at me in disbelief and probably conjured some ideas about how this information had trickled down to me. Logical explanations. What should I have told them? That the cat told me? I looked at the cat. It was quiet. I never had time to speak with it again. I had many burning questions. If the cat won't answer, then I must find a crow or donkey. And I know where to find a crow. To be continued. What do you think? Write it in the comments section below. Subscribe for more. Yours, the Counselor SFTG.